Hi everyone, I'm going to take you on a really exciting journey today. I'm going to take you on a journey of converting an SBA into an SSG. What I'm going to do is take the Iron Maiden single page application that I built to demonstrate content modeling. From previous videos, I showed you how to model business concepts in a content model and also how to model UX concept in a content model. I'm taking that application and I'm going to convert it into an SSG. Now, the process wasn't as straightforward as I thought it was going to be. There were some real frustrations along the path, which I'll let you in on. Anyway, let's take a look and let's get to it. Okay, let's do a quick summary of the architectures for SPA and SSG. We'll first start with the SPA we use for the Iron Maiden site. The Iron Maiden site is written as a view application. What happens in an SBA world is when someone goes to the Iron Maiden site, it will actually pull the application from the server into the browser. So as the user interacts with the application, the application will make API requests to the Ampliant CMS. And what those API requests are, are small pieces of content that's used to build the experience. In this model, as business users make updates and publish the content, the content is immediately available in the content service. Okay, and let's move on to the SSG architecture. It is a completely different architectural approach. When a user makes a request for a page, the page is retrieved from the CDN and it's a static version of that page. And when a user first goes to the site, it will also download a version of the application itself, that Nuxt application. And this Nuxt application will deal with the optimization of the fetching and loading of all of these static pages. So when it comes to Vercel, Vercel will build and deploy those static pages to the CDN. It will access the code from Git, automatically build it, and then deploy the application. During the build of those static pages, it will also make API requests to the CMS, in this case, the Ampliant CMS. And if you make any further code changes and submit to GitHub, Vercel will automatically rebuild and redeploy the application. So that's a quick summary of the two architectures, SPAs and SSG. And we're gonna talk next about how I moved the Iron Maiden application from an SBA into an SSG. Now let's look at what it takes to move this view application, my Iron Maiden application from the SBA into an SSG. So the first thing I have to do is I have to convert my standard view application into a Nuxt application. Unfortunately, it's not just as simple as adding it as a library to the application and recompiling it. Nuxt is an opinionated way of building applications. It has its own directory structure, so I have to move all the assets from my view application into a Nux directory structure. Nux has the concept of pages, so I have to find which components I used that would constitute a page and move them into a page directory and reconfigure them as pages for Nux. The asynchronous functions I use to load data into components have to be changed to match the Nuxt architecture. And once I have the application working, and then I have to make sure that Nuxt can crawl through all the pages that I want them to. I took the song lister page, which lists all the songs that I have for the Iron Maiden side. And I added links to the list of pages as well to make sure it would crawl through the entire site. Now that sounds pretty simple, but believe me, it was painful. I really enjoy coding in Vue. But once I put it inside Nuxt, I really struggled with it. One of the benefits of this framework is it's supposed to make things easier. Well, I actually found it a lot harder. Things were much harder to debug. And as I was moving things around, it just threw all kinds of errors that were really difficult to trace and fix. So I'm not really a big fan of Nuxt. But what I have learned from it is that if you are starting with an SBA and you want to move to an SSG or you want to move into Nuxt, don't expect it to be straightforward. In some ways, you're better off starting from scratch and building it in Nuxt in the first place. I probably wouldn't have had the same problems I had with this approach. So once we've got the view app now working in Nuxt, we can now move it into Vercel. 
You do that by first creating a new repo in Git and syncing your code into that repo. And then I created an account in Vercel, which was really easy. I just used my Git login for that account. And what was great about that was that I could actually see all of my repos that I have in GitHub inside Vercel. And it was easy to then choose the Iron Maiden static site generation app that I had. Once the application is imported, you can then go through the deployment process and push it out into a CDN and access the site as a statically generated site. And I found it really, really quick and really, really smooth. And the next part of the process is to automate the application. Now, Vercel will automate the build and deployment of the application if you make changes in GitHub. But what it won't do is build and redeploy if you create and change content in the CMS without putting some automation in there. This video took quite a lot of effort, so I'd really appreciate it if you liked the video so far to reach over and just press the like button. Thank you. So I've now moved from Vue into Nuxt into Vercel, and I've got a static site generated. Now let's zoom in and walk through the process we go through in Vercel to build this site. First of all, the app is imported from GitHub from my repository. Vercel will then build the Nuxt application, and assuming there's no errors, it will then proceed to statically generate all of the pages. And while it's doing that, it will make calls to the Ampliant CMS and pull back the content it needs for each one of those pages. Once that's complete, those pages will be pushed up into the CDN where they can be accessed from a browser by a user. Now, if code changes in GitHub, you've submitted a new change into GitHub, the cell will automatically re-import that code and go through that whole process again and rebuild the site and redeploy it, which is really cool. And you just don't have to think about anything, right? However, if a business user in the CMS makes a change to some content, creates a new page, adds some new content, updates some content, nothing on the site will change. The cell will not know anything has happened at this point. What we have to do is trigger a rebuild and redeployment in the same way GitHub does when you add new code. And we do that by connecting the Ampliant CMS to the cell using a webhook. And actually it's pretty easy and pretty simple to do. Now let's take a look at the architecture, the new target architecture we're going to put in place to optimize and automate Vercel from Ampliance. So we have our app in Vercel that's used to generate these pages by calling the Ampliance APIs. What we're going to do is when a user adds new content and publishes that content, we're going to trigger a webhook that will tell Vercel to rebuild and redeploy the site. While Vercel is doing that, as I said, it will be accessing our content using the content delivery API. However, the content delivery API also uses a CDN to optimize its performance, which means the content could be in danger of being stale. In other words, that content is cached. And in this case, that could be a bad thing. But don't worry, we've recently created a new API that is dedicated to these kinds of scenarios. And this API doesn't use a CDN, you go straight to origin. Therefore, the content is always fresh. It's always the latest content because it's not cached. So there are two main changes we need to make for automation. Number one, we need to create and configure the webhook from Ampliance to Vercel. And second, I need to rewrite the data access layer to point to the new content delivery service that doesn't use the CDN. But I do need to pass in a developer key in this particular service. And once those two things are complete, we're done. So let's take a look at this in action. So if we go into Vercel and look at our deployment for the Iron Maiden SSG, go to the project settings, and then under Git, we can actually see the deployment webhook for Vercel. So this is the webhook we need to trigger a build in Vercel from Ampliance. All we have to do to get this automation to work is to copy the webhook from Vercel and paste it into Ampliance. Now let's take a look at Ampliance. To find webhooks, click on Development and then the Webhook section. This gives you a list of webhooks, but I only have the one I've done for the Vercel integration. If we take a look at the webhook, you can see I've already copied and pasted the webhook from Vercel into Ampliance, and I've chosen to trigger the webhook anytime a piece of content is published in Ampliance. 
So let's see this integration in action. If we go into the website and navigate to the Aces High song, you can see I've already prepared the title for a change. So let's go into Ampliance, select the Aces High song, and change its title so it just says Aces High. Now let's save the change and then publish the change. Publishing the content sends the content to the new content service, as well as triggering the Vercel webhook. And if we look in Vercel, we can see the redeployment has automatically been triggered. The site is being built and the pages are being regenerated. Once the redeployment process is complete, we can take a look at the new static version of the site. And if we navigate to the Aces High song details page, we can see the title reflects the changes we made in the CMS. You can see setting up the web hooks is super simple and works amazingly well with the new content service. The whole thing is just a smooth and elegant integration. So there you have it. There's my journey of moving an Iron Maiden application from an SBA to an SSG, from Vue to Nux to Vercel. And how did I find it? Well, first of all, the view to Nuxt, as I said earlier, I found it really painful. At first, it seems quite simple that you just move some components. I followed some videos. I found some documentation and it seemed pretty simple to move it over. But the most of those examples they use are very basic applications and don't tend to be highly data driven like the one I was doing. So my advice is if you're going to go down the static site generation or SSR and you're going to use Nuxt, Start there first. Don't build an app and then migrate it because it's way too painful. On the other hand, Vercel was so easy and so simple to use. I was really surprised. And I liked the little touch with the confetti. It just made me smile, especially after all the frustration I had getting Nux to work. An interesting thing is, although I had to do some serious code updates to make this work. Modifying components to act as pages, changing data access layers, moving things around and refactoring the code, and changing of the deployment model. I never once had to change the content to make it work. I never once had to change a content schema to make it work. From a content perspective, it just worked. I was also surprised how quick and how easy the webhook integration was between Vercel and Ampliance. It literally just took a few minutes to do. At the time of this video, the new API that we built in Ampliance to deal with SSG, the one that's not cached, was actually an alpha version. It's not going to be long and we're going to be releasing that out to the general public. I'm hoping to have it out and ready to use before peak starts. But for now, it's time to say, Goodbye, thank you, and I'll see you next time.